a rematch of last year's finals because they are in Group C and D, but we could see a rematch of that matchup in the semifinals. That was my bad, Scott. I'll give you the one. First and 10 at the 25 goes. We'll start with it first. As we mentioned before, we got two games going on. So if you want to watch uh, Joe Rice and VY Electrify, they're over on Mixer.com backslash Madden. If, just do yourself a favor. Pull up both games at the same time if you're sitting at home on your desktop. And I just remember, Scott, watching these two exact players, you know, play almost less than a month ago, it feels like, in, in the club championship. I believe it was the final eight. Yeah, little Cowboys-Redskins. The Cowboys-Redskins matchup, and that was a phenomenal game. And Ghost ended up coming away with the W after a crazy user lurk interception that sealed the deal for him. And that's still in Drini's mind. This is a revenge match for Drini. Yeah, both these guys 0-1 in the groups here. It's not single elimination, but it almost feels like that kind of game. Yeah, no, absolutely. This is a huge game. And just speaking back to the revenge match thing, Scott, I, I can attest to that. I mean, when I was a player, if players tell you that they don't remember or don't want that win against someone that just eliminated you from a tournament, they're lying. They're completely lying. You remember everybody that knocked you out in the tournament, especially if it was the month prior. And getting that W back is a really big deal. I remember when I went to the Madden Challenge, I told myself, anyone that beat me in a regional prior to that, there's no way I'm going to let myself lose to them. So Drini playing with a little extra motivation, whether he'll admit it or not. Those will have it first after the nice low pass to set up, move the chains out of the 35-yard line. Here's Allen again. We'll give it to Gordon, and Gordon pick up a few. Let's call it two. See Ghost right there, Madden 19 club champion Hassan Spall from North Brunswick, New Jersey. He's got his brother Sonin with him here in house. Yeah, that was Madden 18 up in Minnesota. Where he beat Problem in the final. Talked about all the championships that Problem has won. He's been to a lot of finals as well here in the modern era. Four of them, and, and that's what I feel bad for. What Problem is. People get mad when we, we call him the GOAT because a lot of the MCS viewers had never saw the Madden Challenge, but he has all the credentials from the old school Madden Challenge. But he's also made four championship games, which is more than anybody in the MCS era, which is very, very impressive. And in this era, you get paid for making it to the finals, so he's banked well over $100,000 in this era alone. It was last year that Trini won this very event for his chance to defend it here in 2019. And something interesting, Scott, in the MCS era, both of these players, speaking of money in the MCS era, Dreamy and uh, Ghost are both um, over the $100,000 uh, prize winning mark. Both of these guys have made over $100,000 in the MCS in the last three years. For Dreamy, it's the last two years, because last year was his first year being eligible. He's made up Quite to a, this point, $137,000. And that doesn't include season. this. Great season. First and 10 at the 47 now. Goes blocked two kicks last game, and then get, got his game winner blocked. And he'll drop that here. Melvin Gordon caught a big clap to bring up second and 10. I believe that's Everson Walls, the 97 overall ultimate legend. Yeah, Cowboys legend right there, Everson Walls. That's a blast from the past. Yeah, I mean, 97 overall in the mutt draft mode. It doesn't really get, yeah, I don't think you can get a higher OVR than that. That's going to be one of the best players on the field in that right cornerback slot for Dreamy, right of screen cornerback slot. Oh, he's got that. Allen, he throws oh, a pick. Reed. Trini oh. makes the man miss. Nicky. And oh, finally, take it down at the 46. Scott, I thought it was the right read because the receiver had a step on him. Look at him. He's got a step, but it's not a streak. It's a comeback route. And you don't want to throw a comeback when the DB is sitting underneath the receiver. You're supposed to throw the comeback when the DB's on top of him. It's a bad read right there by Ghost. 
Only if he had the receiver on the streak, it would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's an interception for Drini, and he's got the momentum. Something he did not have until it was too late in his first game, getting down 21 to three to Joe Rice. Now Drini with an early stop on the turnover, and he'll start first and 10 at the 46. Real quick, Scott, when you see that decline penalty right there, uh, there's a gentleman's agreement that these players do where they'll set their audibles in their formation subs at the play call screen, let you do it on offense while I do it on defense and vice versa, and we'll decline the penalty to make sure everyone has enough time to make the subs they want. It's not a mandatory rule, but it's a gentleman's agreement that a lot of these players will make before the game. Obviously, Ghost and Drini, a ton of respect for each other, made that agreement. So that's what you saw there a few plays back at the start of the drive. It's almost rare for somebody to say, nah, bro. We've seen it, though. It's a thing. What a time. Carr. Yeah. Julio! Touchdown, Drini! And that's that same post route, Scott, that he hit Joe Rice with. This time, instead of Dalvin uh, Cook, it's Julio Jones coming across the middle, and I don't know how you let Julio get that wide open. Two plays, 46 yards. After the INT, turns it into points. One thing to keep in mind, uh, Scott, is Drini's already, I mean, Ghost is already qualified for the Madden ball. He's locked in. On see this replay here. Jones getting nasty. Drini is not 100% in the Madden ball yet, so he's likely playing this game with a bit of a more sense of urgency than Ghost. Granted, there's a lot of money at stake, and Ghost is just going to lay down. But you got to think the sense of urgency has to be on Drini's side. Gordon to the 29. This can bring up second and six. And now Ghost has to answer after the early turnover. And giving up the long pass play to Julio Jones. He's to get to the 35. Allen. That's time. And he will check it down to wide. Zeke makes a man miss. Spins off another. And he'll pick up the first down. A little nonchalant moving the sticks. <laughs> a little slow motion Zeke right there. What Ghost is doing, Scott, is he's coming out in this gun split wing. And he's subbing in a running back in at the fullback position. And then he's audible in from this formation to the gun bunch so he can get his half back at tight end and get that extra speed at tight end. Allen running, running. He'll pick up a few yards here and get out of bounds at the 44. It's a strategy a lot of these players will do in mud draft, Scott, is find a formation where you can audible up to the bunch or an 11 personnel, but you do it with your halfback at the fullback spot so he goes into the tight end spot. See him, Melvin Gordon right now at the tight end for him. There he is on the drag. And that's why you do that. Those halfbacks at the tight end spot on a drag, the linebackers and the cross man, it's not going to be able to keep up with them. So that'll bring up first and ten. Yeah, so you're going to see this guy right here go into that tight end spot. And that's a running back. Smallwood right now. Gordon's tired from that last play. Boyd with the motion. Clean pocket once again, and there's Anderson, who takes a big user hit stick. The ability that these guys have to hit stick, Scott. When you play, how many hit sticks do you whiff a game? I know I'm out. He might as well call me whiffer. I, I, can't, I can't land a hit stick. My wife depended on it. I, every now and then I'll get lucky. No stick work anymore. Look at the focus. Nice bows, headsets right there. Lucky 56. Gun, 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 gun. Allen here on second and three. And he's hit as he throws. That's going to bring up third down. What what this audibling is doing, Scott, when Ghost comes out in this split back and audibles to Gun Bunch, so it's taking valuable time away from him during pre-play where he could be adjusting and doing other adjustments. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. 
Feels like he's losing three to five seconds. Oh, boy. oh no, again, Drini? He, he's got to stop with this guy. That's the second time in two games we've seen him get caught on aggressive pass rush on a third and short situation where he gave up the first down. Because this guy's jumped off sides. Pros and the cons to those coaching adjustments. If there wasn't, everybody would use them all the time. Ball to 36 now. Fresh set of downs for Goes. Trailing by a touchdown. Allen checks it down again. And be careful with those spins. Yeah, especially with the frequency at what stream he's clicking on. Look at that. Look at that. I like that camera right there where they show the hands during pre-play because you'll see how fast these guys' fingers are whipping around. They make crazy amounts of hot routes and pre-play adjustments on both the offensive and defensive side of the ball. So pivotal. Pivotal to be able to do that when you're playing high-level matter. He's got him back for a moment. Throws back to X. at Shepard at the 30. And Janey loves to play coverage. He loves to rely on those block sheds. And also what he does is he plays coverage, and he has his defenders in a good position to crack you at the point of the catch. You might complete the pass, but you're completing the pass in a, you know, with a hit waiting for you at the catch point or a few few steps after as Ghost hydrates with some H2O. How about the EA branded H2O too? That's some high quality H2O. I would love if Bobby Boucher. Detroit! Detroit! We, one time, well, legend item. make an exception for <laughs> Boucher and Bundy and I'm all in. Detroit! Take Detroit! my money. Well, Boucher a tight end. Go on, go Maybe a little go middle go linebacker out Boucher of position. Boucher off the edge. Bundy at fullback, subbed into halfback at the goal line. Swings it outside, that'll be enough for the first down inside the red zone. First and 10 for Goes. Trying to tie this thing up. It's a good drive right now by Goes, huh, Scott? I mean, he's really just thinking and dunking, not forcing anything, taking what the defense gives him. Very, very patient drive right now from Hassan Spall. Elliott, fall forward to the 13. They'll bring up a second and three. Goes turned it over early, led, led the points for Drini. Now with 4.22 to go in the half. He's trying to bring us level at seven apiece. And it off to Gordon. Oh, bye. Awkwardly to the 12. Yeah, very awkward. This near jumbo formation, Scott, this was the difference in Ghost picking his playbook. When he was cycling through the different playbook selections he had, and he realized the Vikings playbook had the near jumbo, that's when he snap picked the playbook because he feels it really helps him in the goal line. And the other really cool thing about that formation is you can come out in it and have some unique pass plays and runs, but you can also audible the goal line from that formation. And we've seen him do that several times where you set your opponent up with a fullback dive and then you hurry up offense at the sneak and they're not ready for it. Gun, gun, Detroit, Detroit. Third and three. And here comes a timeout from Goes. You can't take him with you here in the first half. Yeah. Gun, gun. It's already used two of them, but yeah, I feel people don't use their timeouts in the first half enough, so good to see Goes doing it. Make sure he gets in the right play on this big third and three, Scott. Allen, quick throw, that'll be a first down. It's going to be first and goal from the seven. This drive reminds me of those Tom Brady videos that went viral. Tom Brady's the greatest quarterback of all time. Look at that two-yard pass. <laughs> little three-yard pass. And he is just dinking and dunking his way up the field. He's taken a lot of hits. And he's held on to the ball and made some good reads. But we know it gets stingy down here, Scott. Got to finish at near formation. In the last couple years, has been his bread and butter I down here in a second and goal situation. But he's in the gun. Yeah, I think he's a little too far out right now. He loves hitch routes and curl routes. That's what you got to watch for right here from Ghost. A little hitch or, or a high ball curl. There's the high ball curl yeah. right there. High balls it for six. Shepard. Yep, now go. 
the former Oklahoma Sooner, and pending the PAT, and we're going to be tied. I'm not counting any of these after we <laughs> yeah, saw that no, first no, game. No. 14 play, 72 yard drive, taking up 506. And Trini will get it back. How prolific was that? Like you said, 14 plays over five minutes long. And here's that high ball curl route. I don't this, have the guts to throw that. No, that is a very good tactic, though, Scott. A lot of people have been struggling on the red zone, and you see a lot of elite players implementing that into the game plan. Because in a lot of cases, if it's inaccurate, the ball just goes out of bounds in the back of the end zone. And if it's accurate, a lot of times it'll give your receiver a chance to get his hands on it and make a play, which isn't easy to do in that red zone. I know I've incorporated that into my game plan. And if you're struggling in the red zone, you likely should too. Speaking of playmaking, there's T.Y. out to the 48, just near midfield. That'll move the chains. Look how much space is on the right side. And Julio, first down, a little bit more. Oh, he's got to be careful. He spun right into that hit stick. Look at this. Boom. That's Amos. Amos knows to lay some wood. He'll go to two minute warning here. He'll take us all the way down to the two. Just a reminder, these guys are both 0-1 here in Group C. Both belt winners. Drini trying to defend. Won this event last year. And right now, he's on the move. Ball to 33 yard line. 29. Carr. Picks up the blitz. Rolling to the left. And a pretty little touch pass to T.Y., who's in space. And he's just shy of the yard to gain. I like that first spin right there to get himself in space, Scott. But once those defenders start closing in from all angles. Take it easy. Yeah, that second spin was just so unnecessary. You, you, you're just begging for a disaster to happen if you're Trini. Got to be careful. Hand it off to Cook. And Cook will pick up the first down. All the way into the red zone at the 18, and that clock is tick, tick, ticking away. Junior's uh, a veteran. He's, even though he's young in age, he's played a lot of high-level Madden football. He, he's going to try to take as much of this clock as he can with him to make sure Ghost doesn't have time to put together a what was Ghost scoring listening to drive there? of his own. That's, I, got, I got Ghost was playing. That, it sounded like zombie. In my head. Phenomenal song. Cook to go to the outside. We normally talk about hip hop. I mean, but I'll, I'll throw a little zombie in there. That's a classic. In his playlist, he has The Weeknd, Drake, James Arthur, Maroon 5. He says it's all over the place. So no cranberries. Cranberries. Is he says it's all over the place. He just right. gave me some examples. Probably Cook in there. to the edge. Oh, Touchdown, Drini. Oh. He's back on top. If you ghost now, you're going to have 55 se seconds to make something happen. The problem is we talked about not taking those timeouts with you in the second half, Scott. Well, he sure as heck would like them right now because he has none of them. So he's going to it's going to be tough to get down at the field goal range, but he's more than capable of doing it even without the timeouts. So Look at this blocking right here. It bounces the end. I don't know who 46 was, but he was manhandling somebody. If you ghost as well, though, Scott, you're going to try to get points, but you better make sure you don't turn this ball over in the process because that will make it likely a two-possession ball game, and you'll be in all kinds of trouble. That was Nick Balden. Nick Balden. I got to give him some props on a big block there on the edge to set up the touchdown. You're all over that type of stuff, huh? Right? Second and ten. Scott sees a player make a play. He wants to know who it was. Seven-point ball game. Who's trying to answer here in the waning moments of the first half? Allen, quick throw to Boyd. Boyd gets free for a moment. Almost got it stripped away. We'll see if Drini decides if he wants to dip into his timeouts. 
If you get a stop here. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. I'm surprised yeah. Drini maybe doesn't go on, go on, call a timeout there immediately. On. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth, Scott. Go on, go on. I was thinking the same exact thing. Because he might just bluff his way all the way down here to take this. Now he'll snap it with 10. Allen. A throw, and maybe that's why he didn't call timeout. If you're a ghost now, like, everything about it just seemed wrong for, from both players. Now, if you're a ghost, why even risk it? And if you're Drini, why not give yourself a chance to get that ball back with the timeouts? And that'll end the half. Drini playing some good football, forcing some turnovers, got two touchdowns. Oh, 14 to 7 here at the half. Trini up by seven. Want to remind you that the 2019 Madden Challenge is brought to you by Bose, the official sound of Madden NFL 19 Championship Series. And RG still doesn't have the plug. Yo, know, type one in the chat if they need to just hook your boy up one time. We travel enough. I, I can't, I can't. That's how petty I've gotten. I'm resorting to the chat. If I've forgotten them at home and I'm going out on a trip, I will turn around and go back to the house and pick them up. The worst part about it all is, I'm telling you, is Chow just swags around the office whenever we travel. He's swagging around with them. I got, like, these little bootleg earbuds. Like the ones they pass out on the plane? It's a mess, man. Let's focus on the game. I don't even want to talk about it. Second oh my goodness, what's going on right there? Only in a video game. Come on, why'd he stop running? Why'd he stop running? And Carr will take off. That's all right. 15 yards, first down. It's mad he stopped running. Well, maybe you should have merged him with your D tackle during pre-play. I mean, there's all kinds of nonsense that's, that's going around. It's like a game designer talking. Low, low, low. 24. Go, go. First and 10. Uh, the old two becomes one chemistry that you don't know anything about. Oh, yeah. Secret chem. <laughs> Makes your players look like idiots and then mess up their pursuit. There's no chemistries available here in Mutt Draft. That's the game mode. We've done regs, we've done salary cap. You can still qualify for the Madden Bowl. We got the salary cap ladders open right now, but I got to warn you, it's going to be hell games. It's tough out there in the salary cap ladders. And yeah, for the viewers that are just tuning in, a reminder, because I see this in the chat all the time, Facebook, Twitch, Mixer, people in the chat saying, oh, why is Derek Carr on the Eagles or Dalvin Cook on the Eagles? It's because we are playing in the mutt draft mode and this isn't the Redskins versus Eagles. These are teams these guys drafted and now Ghost trying to hold the door on fourth down. And this is a big drive, Scott, because this is the drive that lets Greeny make it two possessions. Big play right here. Fourth and one. He's in a middle pretzel right now. He's going. Oh, my goodness. There's no question if he was going or not. It's just what player are you going with? Lion gun bunch on the fourth and one. And he's got to call yeah, a timeout. Yeah, I don't know about that. And that's written. These timeouts, I mean, in the first half, whatever. But in the second half, that's gold right there. Legit, it's gold. Like, the color of them is gold. But it also is as valuable as gold in the second half. You're going to need those. This, and he's still in the shotgun. This is big, Scott. He's going to go to the air here on fourth and one. Both of them 0-1. Two belt winners battling it out, and it's an easy throw to Cook. And if he broke that tackle, he was to the hizzy. Oh, that was a huge play by Drini. And how about the kahunas to come out and shotgun and air it out on fourth and one? Jeez. These are two of my favorite guys in the entire MCS. Two champs. Nothing but class. Ghost, 21 years old. Greeny, 19 years old. I mean, they're going to be around for a while. Get used to this. And it's crazy. They're young, but they have so much experience. I mean, the future is bright for them. And you got to think with EA building this new studio, finding finding FCS a home where we can come back to time and time again, there's only going to be bigger and better things that continue to happen. More opportunities for these young men. 
Eckler. All the way to the 30. That's going to bring up a third and three in field goal range now. And if you're training, you can't take very a content with just taking your time. Let that clock move. Burn as much of that play clock as you can. You're in field goal range. It'll be interesting. This is the clock you want to watch right here. How, how many seconds is he going to let this wind down to, that play clock? When the game clock's ticking. Look at him. It's all the way down. To, he's going to hike it with about three, two, or one seconds. Yep. Carr needs three. Going up top, Gurley. Drags the toes. Toe drag swag. And you see the patience on that corner route, Scott? When me and you throw that corner route. Oh, another block kick by Ghost. I'm dead. I'm going to throw up. He is hell at timing block kicks. If you need to get in the lab with that, go, Hassan Spall's the one to hit up. But real quick on that touchdown, Scott, Drini's patience and really wait, letting this corner route develop. See, I'm throwing it right now. Would have gave the, the underneath Cloud Flat a chance to break on it. He waits the extra second, lets him clear to the sideline. Toe drag swag. And Drini joke off two possessions, and look at the emotion. Or just in the second game here for Goes, he's already blocked three kicks. And then he had one block that cost him the ball game. So we've seen four block kicks here in Group C. And that should be a first down there for Zeke, right at the 35. We know, Scott, that Ghost has the offense to put a drive together, get points, and make this a one-possession ball game. But he's going to have to do it with more of a sense of urgency than his first drive. I don't Detroit, think a 17 Detroit. play or whatever it was, five-minute drive is what he's looking for right now. He needs to go down there and get himself a touchdown in a hurry. And the field goal's no good. You're, you're, you really want a touchdown here so you can make it one possession ball game. Remember, these guys are both 0-1 here in Group C. Watch now, Barney, Barney. You do not want to be the guy Detroit, to go to 0-2 and have to get a win and hope for some point diff. Three of the four make it out. Top of the group gets a bye. And Anderson goes airborne and moves it all the way down to the 37-yard line. And Robbie Anderson's a 92 overall. It's about 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 with 95 speed. That's Ghost's best uh, weapon on offense by far on this team. There's Anderson again. He's been using him and Shepard. And he's going to go hurry up here. A little I change like of pace. I like it, Scott. He's moving the rock. If he goes down and gets a touchdown somewhat quickly here, he's, and he has all three timeouts, he has tons of momentum, and he's all the way still in this ball game. I think one of the reasons he went hurry up here is because we're closing in on the fourth quarter. I think he's going to snap it. And he will. Allen. Final play. And he'll just throw it away. That'll give us time to check in with Rico Williams for a game break. Thanks, Scott. Action is, wasn't heating up yet, but Joe Rice was able to break one and take it on into the crib to take a 10-0 lead over VY. All right, so Joe Rice still doing Joe Rice things. Perfect use of the turbo to be able to hold off there and then accelerate for that 10-point lead. Allen! Gordon! Oh my, goodness. oh, my goodness. What a hit. He has a family. And this is Drini, similar to Joe Rice, just clicking on and making a lot of plays when that ball's in the air. Seeing a lot of high-level stick work from a lot of these high-level players. Detroit! Detroit! Biggest play of the game. This Fourth and three. Gun, 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 gun. Oh, man, this is big, Scott. Gun, gun. Well, Drini brings the hit stick Watch on that, every attempted completion. Allen up top the point, oh. and he overthrew him. He sailed it. That was the only place Ghost had to go. He usually likes the hitch route in that situation, Scott, but Drini manned up the hitch route and took it away with man-to-man -man coverage, what you need to do. Force Ghost to go up top, probably threw a high ball on that pass and got the inaccurate. And there he does. Remind the folks at home how you give up and stay in bounds right there because that'll move the clock. 
It's textbook football right there from Trini. On an open pass. Well, double trigger action, lay down. Yeah, to do that, that's a good point, Scott. If you, if you want to be able to just give up with your ball carrier and avoid big hits, you hold the left trigger, the right trigger, and tap that X button, and it'll give, put him in that little give up animation. I've seen guys do it in the pocket. That's diabolical. Second and two. First down. Oh, no, Ooh. third and inches. He thought it was, too. These are the little situations. If you're Ghost and you put yourself in this situation down two possessions without the ball, these are the situations you need to capitalize in. These is, this is how you get yourself back in the ball game. You need to get Hodorish right now. Because if you let Drini get this first down, he's just going to continue to let this. He's going to take this, this all the way down and call timeout. Yep. Oh. He wants more time to think about this. He has one timeout Damn. remaining. Go still with all three. And an inch might be the difference between the dub and the L. Go, go. Get set, get set. See if he goes with a sneak. Nope. Just stretch it out. Game is bad. Oh, oh my the goodness. Game is bad. Just and he will spin. And oh, stay in bounds. At the 10. Ground. And Ghost can't believe it that he couldn't get to the edge. He's winding up there. He's not happy, but uh, he ran commit to try to stop the run. But he, look at this. He's run committed middle. Everybody's in the middle. And Drini just with the perfect play call dials up a stretch to the outside. I think Drini just called the right play against the defense, Ghost, but it's got to be painful right now because. You're going, he's likely going to go to 0-2. Well, sad, and you know who's got to play next. Joe Rice. Joe Rice. Joe Rice. To try to keep himself in the tournament. It's not a good look. It gets right progressively now. harder. You started with VUI. You, you lost. Had a game-winning field goal blocked. 29. And now Drini is putting you to work here. Eckler once again. Can't take it to the two-minute warning. It's about seven seconds or so. And a differential between the clock and the game clock. And when you ask a lot of these players, you know, what's the strategy you give the people at home? Oh, man. Drini's going to get it. Peace out. So bad. This is so bad. You ain't got to go, but you got to get out of here. Give me a chance. God damn. 26 to 7. This clock, man. And he's going for it. <laughs> That's oh, what I'd say. You, you got this guy's blocking kicks left and right. I'm going for it. <laughs> He'll lose. Oh, a couple my yards God. there. Oh, give me a Two point chance. conversions, no good. Let's look at it again, RG. This is nasty Whoop. spin. And Coach is asking the game to give him a chance. You got to give yourself a chance. You haven't played great this game. He's in his fields right now. Yeah, he, he is. He is miles into the fields. But one thing I, I want to call up from Dreamy, Scott, is his clock management it has been great. He, he really has been milking the clock, taking time away from Ghost, and putting that extra pressure on him. And if you're going to compete at that level, when I ask these players, what's a tip at home that you want to give the casual viewer? It's learn those situations when it's smart for you to milk that clock and take as much time away and understand when it's important for you to speed things up and hurt, get in a hurry. Because so many players, casual players, they'll have a game won, but they'll just start passing the ball or whatever and end up losing the game. You really need to learn how to manage that clock if you want to take your game to the next level. There's Anderson. He'll stop the clock with 152. Detroit! Detroit! Real quick, Scott, the best thing about the clock management tip, it's not a hard one to figure out. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. When you're winning the game by multiple possessions late, you let the play clock wind down. When you're down, you speed things up. But you got to understand that. To the 28 now. It's going to be a little bit more than just Madden Magic here. Detroit! Detroit! Every time you get a first down, you can take a minimum of a minute and 30 seconds off the, a minute and 30 seconds off the clock if you're playing with 30-second play clocks. 
Zeke Elliott. Quick field goal here wouldn't make it a two-score game. Still has all three timeouts. This quarterback sucks. Fucking table rocks. 22 to 31 for Josh oh Allen. You th you're throwing a table route on the run. If you want to throw a table route, you're supposed to just set your feet and throw the table route. Not on the run. Ghost is complaining it's getting me in my feels. <laughs> I, I, I'm all for it when it's justified, but I hate people just begging for a way out. Sets his feet, throws it to Shepard. Shepard's down at the five. Detroit, Detroit. Allen now. And it's going to be picked off. Night, night. Bro, just give me a chance, bro. Well, Pretty flawless game here by Draney. Well, if Ghost wants his chance, he's going to get it against Joe Rice. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the last chance you're going to get in this tournament. Look at the schedule here. We dialing that one up as the main game. <laughs> Might have to separate you two. I, I'm not going to lie to you. Nah, you, you know, you know, I love Brother Ghost. <laughs> it's all good fun. But I'm not going to lie to you. I, I'm curious to see Vy. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm cool with whatever game they give us. Yeah, we got both games going simultaneously. Hey, 734. White, white. Go, go. First and 10. The other game's over on Mixer.com backslash Madden. Boy, and Trini's, uh, he's not done yet. He's thinking about point diff. Smart. It's very smart, especially when you got a loss under your belt, right? 694. Try to get max point differential, which I believe is 24. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I believe you are right with that stop. That's a bomb to Gurley and just overthrew. Look at those numbers on Carr. <laughs> Eight for 10, 166, two touchdowns. Biblical offensive performance from Drini Joka. Hey, 734. Express. Boy, almost had Gurley. Just overthrew him by a step. And this time they'll sack him up. One more play, maybe. Of course, Goes will see his point differential go from oh, gee. Two, 21 now, 0 oh, 2. Time, okay. The 2019 Madden Challenge is brought to you by Progressive. Score more savings at Progressive.com. This one is in the books. I literally didn't make a mistake, and then I got stopped in the red zone. 26 to 